dear students in this video you are going to learn about solving linear equation in one variable having variable on both sides in the previous video you have learned to solve linear equations in one variable which are having variable on one side but see here the first question is solve 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 2. Here on the left hand side we have two terms 2x and minus 3 and on the right side we have two terms that is x and 2. So, we have variable terms on the both sides. Variable terms are 2x and x and constant terms are minus 3 and plus 2. Now, let us learn how to solve this equation. To solve this equation, remember while solving linear equation, you have to keep variable term on the left side and constant terms on the right side. So, let us bring variable term that is x to the left side and let us take constant term to the right side. So, now I will move x to LHS and minus 3 to RHS. See here 2x minus 3 is equal to x plus 2. This is the given equation. Now, take x on the left uh, right hand side to the left hand side that, is, that it becomes plus x on the RHS that becomes minus x. Now, constant part on the RHS is 2 plus 2. Constant part on the LHS is minus 3. Bring it to the right side. Minus 3 becomes plus 3. Now, now you can solve 2x minus 1x is 1x plus 2 plus 3 is plus 5. So, 1x is x is equal to 5. So, the solution of the equation is 5. Let us solve one more. Solve 5x plus 7 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2x minus 14. Here, terms involving variables are 5x and 3 by 2x. You have to keep these terms on the LHS and constant terms minus 14 and 7 by 2. You have to keep constant terms on the RHS. Now, right here 5x plus 7 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2 x minus 14. This equation looks little complicated. So, let us simplify this. See here, we have fractions here. Here there is 7 by 2, here there is 3 by 2. Now, let us remove the denominator. Here the denominators are 2 and 2. 2 on the LHS, 2 on the RHS. LCM of 2 and 2 is 2. Now, multiply LHS and RHS by 2. So, that denominator will be removed. Now, multiply LHS and RHS by 2. 2 is the LCM of the denominators. Denominators here 2 and 2. So, LCM is 2. Multiply both side by 2. 
now that becomes 5x into 2 plus 7 by 2 into 2 you have to multiply each term by 2 then 3 by 2 x into 2 minus 14 into 2 multiply all the terms by 2 for both sides for LHS and for RHS now 5 x into 2, 2 is 10 x plus 7 by 2 into 2 2 ones are 2 ones are that is 7 is equal to here 3 by 2 x into 2 2 ones are 2 ones are cancels so remaining 3 x minus 14 twos are 28. Now the equation is simplified. Now you can solve it easily. Now you have to bring variable term to the left hand side and constant to the right hand side. So 10x is on the LHS minus 3x. I am bringing 3x from RHS to the LHS. So, plus 3x becomes minus 3x is equal to minus 28 is on the RHS plus 7 on the left hand side bring it to the right hand side that becomes minus 7. So, 10x minus 3x is 7x is equal to minus 28 minus 7 is minus 35. Now, 7 into x here. So, x is equal to minus 35 by 7. So, x is equal to 7 ones are 7 fives are. There is minus here. So, x is equal to minus 5 is the solution of the given equation. Now, let us solve one more. Fifth one. Solve 2x is equal to 3 by 4 into 5x minus 3. Now, here also there is a fraction that is 3 by 4. So, multiply LHS and RHS by 4. There is only one denominator that is 4. So, multiply both side by 4. Now, 2x into 4 is equal to 3 by 4 into 5x minus 3 into 4. Now, see here 2x into 4 is 8x see multiply 3 by 4 5 x minus 3 into 4 see here 4 and 4 getting cancelled remaining is 3 into 5 x minus 3 now you can solve it easily now 8 x is equal to first multiply both terms of 5 x minus 3 by 3. See here 3 into 5 x you have to do 3 into minus 3. 3 into 5 x three into 5 x is 15 x minus 3 3 is 9. Now the next step is bringing variable term to the left hand side and constant term to the right hand side. Now, 8 x on the left hand side plus 15 is on the right hand side take it to the left hand side plus 15 x becomes minus 15 x is equal to constant minus 9. 8 x minus 15 x is minus 15 minus 8 is 
सेवन एक्स प्लस एट एंड माइनस फिफ्टीन हैविंग डिफरेंट साइन सो यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट पुट द बिगर नंबर साइन दैट इज माइनस माइनस सेवन एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइन सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस नाइन डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस सेवन हियर माइनस सेवन इनटू एक्स दैट बिकम्स डिवाइडेड बाय माइनस सेवन माइनस माइनस कैंसिल्स सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू नाइन बाय सेवन इज द सॉल्यूशन do next one 2 plus 7x by 5 is equal to 3 by 10x minus 1 here there are two denominators 5 and 10 so what is the lcm of 5 and 10 you have to remove the denominator so Take the LCM of five and ten. LCM of five and ten is ten, because ten is the multiple of five. So LCM of five and ten is ten. So multiply LHS and RHS by ten. So you have to multiply each term by ten. Two into ten. Plus seven x by five into ten is equal to three by ten x into ten minus one into ten. Multiply each term by ten so that LHS and RHS will be balanced. You have to perform same operation on LHS and RHS. So that the equation will be balanced. Two into ten is twenty plus. See here five ones are five twos are seven x into two. Seven twos are fourteen. Then x makes ten ones are ten ones are cancels. Remaining three x minus ten ones are ten. Now, now. bring variable term to the left side constant term to the right hand side so plus 14x on the left hand side 3x to be moved to the left side that becomes plus 3x here that becomes minus 3x is equal to minus 10 on the rhs plus 20 When you move to the right hand side, that becomes minus twenty. Fourteen minus three is eleven. X is equal to minus ten minus twenty, having same sign. So you have to add twenty plus ten is thirty. So X is equal to minus thirty. Eleven into X on the left hand side into eleven becomes divided by eleven. So minus thirty by eleven. is the solution let us do one more 4x plus 3 is equal to 3 into x minus 2 plus 4 here there is no fraction so you can solve 4x plus 3 is equal to see here 3 should be multiplied Two x minus two, so multiply this one first. Three into x, then three into minus two. Three into x is three x plus into minus is minus three two zero six plus four minus six plus four. So four x plus three is equal to three x minus six plus four, having different sign. Subtract six minus four is two. Bigger number sign is minus. Now bring variable term to the left side, constant term to the right side. So four x plus three x becomes minus three x is equal to minus two on the RHS plus three becomes 
minus 3. So, x is equal to minus 5 is the solution. So, this is about solving linear equations in one variable which are having variable on the both sides. So, we have to remember keep the variable term on LHS and constant term on RHS.